Hey, it's Tony Zaza. Welcome back to my kitchen for another Foodie Friday. He's gonna do a dessert today, and I'm real excited because Lane's Barbecue, one of my favorite lines, Ryan Lane is absolutely incredible, just came out with a series of dessert rubs and seasonings, and there are four different ones. There's chocolate sea salt caramel, there's strawberry shortcake, there's blueberry muffin, and then there's homemade apple pie. I picked up the strawberry shortcake seasoning, and who doesn't love strawberry shortcake? It's one of the simplest, most delicious desserts ever, except we're gonna do something a little different. We are actually going to make a shortcake and infuse it with macerated strawberries inside and then do some fun stuff on the outside to top it off. Now, if you're not familiar with the process, it's a lot simpler than you think. You do want at least an hour to do this. I like a full day ahead to let the strawberries soak in what normally is sugar, but this time is gonna be Lane's Barbecue Strawberry Shortcake seasoning overnight. We're gonna infuse part of those into the shortcake itself, and then we'll build the strawberry shortcake with whipped cream, more of the macerated strawberries, and this on top with a little lemon zest. So if you're ready, let's take a look at the ingredients. It's a bit of a process. We're gonna do this all on the big green egg, 350 degrees indirect heat. I think it'll be well worth it. We'll find out together here in just a few. Okay, so here's a look at the ingredients. I know it looks like a lot, but it's gonna be well worth it. We're gonna use two and a third cups of cake flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of salt, three large eggs at room temperature, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. We're gonna use six ounces of unsalted butter, which is the equivalent of one and a half sticks. I've got two here just for, um, I guess, visual purposes. And then one cup of buttermilk. We've got an eight and a half inch cake pan. That is pretty much it. Oh, and obviously strawberries, which I'm gonna show you what I did to macerate those here in just a bit. Fresh strawberries, and that's it. So if you're ready, we'll start putting everything together, get the egg fired up, and hopefully, in just a little bit, we'll have a delicious dessert made with Lane's Desserts Strawberry Shortcake Seasoning. Mmm. So the first step is to macerate the strawberries. So I cut up an entire package, washed them, and then cut them up and put them into a plastic, you want a non-reactive bowl, so glass or plastic, and then about two tablespoons of Lane's Strawberry Shortcake Seasoning, sprinkled it on top, covered it, put it in the fridge overnight, mixed it up a couple times. Those are ready to go when we get to that stage. So that's how you do that process. Totally forgot to film it, but super easy. That's how you macerate strawberries. Normally you'd use sugar, but instead we're using Lane's Dessert Rub. So we're about to have a lot going on. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna butter our cake pan all the way around and really get that bottom too because you want this to come out nice. And then we'll set that aside. Next in a medium bowl we're going to whisk together the two and a third cups cake flour, the baking powder, the baking soda, and the salt. Give that a nice whisk, make sure it's all evened out. And then set that aside. In a small mixing bowl, We're gonna add the eggs. And the vanilla extract. And then we're gonna whisk that until it's all smooth. And then we're gonna set that aside. Next up, if you have a big electric mixer, awesome. This will be even easier. We're going to cream the butter until it's light and fluffy. Ah! 
It looks good. So what we're doing now over the course of three minutes is beating in our sugar on low. to the center. Next, low speed, we are going to, over two minutes time, beat in the egg mixture. Now that's done. We're gonna rotate the flour with the buttermilk, starting with and finishing with the flour, scraping down the bowl as we go. So, here we go. Buttermilk is in, and then remember we're going to finish it off with the last of the flour. Scrape down the sides one last time to get all this in there. And we are done with that part. Next step, pour our batter into our pan. This batch makes two of these so you can stack them if you want. I have one for backup just in case. And now we're gonna take our macerated strawberries about a half a cup and then gently mix them in to the batter. And now it's ready to go on the egg or in the oven, whichever you decide to do. Indirect heat, 350 degrees, 30 minutes in the middle. We'll check back in. All right, let's give it a check. Oh yeah, that's good to go. Off and to cool for 15 minutes. All right, let's go ahead and plate it. I've let it cool and we've got our Cool Whip, our macerated strawberries, and of course, the star of this dish, Lane's Dessert Strawberry Shortcake Seasoning. On the plate, strawberries right there down at the bottom. Little cool whip on top. More strawberry. Some of the juice. A little sprinkle of Lane seasoning. And then a little lemon zest just to give it a little bite. Macerated strawberry infused 
strawberry shortcake using Lane's new dessert seasoning. It's light, it's fresh, it's delicious. Mmm. -hmm. This is perfect for summertime. I think you're going to love it. Super easy. Again, you can do it on the big green egg or you can do it in the oven. I'll leave all the instructions below. I'm going to go dive into this. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you have any comments or suggestions on what I should cook on the big green egg next, leave them down below and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye.